Well, I've been and gone and done it now. I finally joined the technological revolution. I've just bought my first computer. All I've got to do now is set it up. OK. Yeah. Well, Dave, Jackie, you've just bought your first computer like me. That's right, yeah. Now, how do you feel about the prospect of getting it home? Oh, a bit nervous, actually. Yeah. Hope we can put it all together. Mm. Well, absolutely, because it's not like buying a pop-up toaster, is it? You can't just slam it in the wall. Mm. And it doesn't make toast. <laughs> well, we'll be catching up with you later. I'm sure you'll be absolutely fine. Well, this looks like someone who knows what to do with the mass. Ah, Alan. John. Jim. Uh, so, happy with your new purchase? Yeah, yeah, I'm dead excited. So you have no worries about setting it all up? Um, I didn't say that, John. Jim. I've used the PC before, but I've never actually um, set one up. Well, good luck, old chap. Cheers. You're John Watts' name? No, Jim. Jim Watts' name. And we'll be seeing more of Alan later. Well, there we are. A few nerves, a bit of apprehension. That's just me. But hey, we're not talking Mission Impossible here. Your mission, Jim, should you wish to accept it, is to assemble your PC and get it working in 10 minutes. Proof of success will be to type and print a letter and discover, by any means at your disposal, the name of the person who invented the computer. Good luck. Thanks very much. Mission accepted. This recording will self-destruct in five seconds. Um, time to go, I think. <clears throat> Ten minutes, eh? No problem for someone who knows all about computers. Tragically, I haven't got a clue. But the thing that gives me confidence is knowing that help is, as they say, just a phone call away. Because in this welcome pack is a very valuable thing. It's the phone number for PC Plus, the PC helpline that operates 24 hours a day. Oh, sorry. The uh, door was open. Yes. Well, I saw the computer boxes and I thought you might need a hand. So you don't think I can put this together on my own? Well, no. Oh, come on. <laughs> Remember that mess you made at the barbecue? Those instructions were in Swedish. Dead, 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 den lead and blood, so you're hot. <laughs> well, never mind that. This will be much simpler. Well, do you mind if I just sit down over here and watch? You know. Just in case. All right, then. But I want to set this whole thing up on my own within ten minutes. So don't interrupt. No, no, of course not. Ah, so you've made a good start already. Unpacking the boxes near where you're planning to set up the PC. Uh, and you've remembered to set up near a PowerPoint. Yes, I also know that if I'm going to send faxes or use the internet, I've got to set my computer up near a phone line. And you bought one of these. I'm impressed. Do you mind if I get on now? Thank you. Right. Base unit first. And you got the box the right way up before you opened it. Ah, uh, now that's what I'm looking for. Easy to follow, step by step instructions. So, better make sure I leave enough space at the back for the plugs. Make sure there's space on the sides for my junk and... And enough room in front to sit comfortably in front of it. You took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. 
Oh, don't throw any of the packaging away. Well, if your PC has to be returned for any reason, then you'll have to take it back in all the original packaging. Well, so I've got to keep this lot forever? No, for a couple of weeks. Phew. So, this is the big boy. Yeah, the brain. It's where the PC does all the work. I'm going to plug the keyboard and the mouse into the back. All the sockets have illustrations of what gets plugged into them. Yeah, I can see that. Everything is figuring out which drawing's which. Oh, it only goes in one way. That's right, there's a little mark to show you which way is right. Alright. And the keyboard. Yeah, always get the plugs for the mouse and the keyboard round the right way. Or when you switch on, nothing happens. <laughs> Thank you, Obi-Wan. You're my only hope. Now the power cable. Plug that into the back and plug it into the plug board. But don't turn it on yet. I was going to say switch it on, but yes, turn it on. That's fine. Uh, with a PC like yours, the screen goes on the base unit. But obviously, with a tower system, it, uh, it goes by the side. Obviously. OK, OK, you know a lot about computers. Now, this cable runs from the monitor into the base unit. And the power lead should be somewhere in this box. That is the power lead. Into the monitor, this goes into the base unit. Yes. Now the speakers. Hundreds of different printers that'll work with any PC. I see you've got an ink bubble jet. Thanks very much. And the man in the shop showed me how to load the cartridge. Okay. Now, I'm ready for liftoff. How am I doing for time? Five minutes to go. Yeah. Piece of cake. And a cup of tea, please. Now, the order you switch the bits on is important. Always switch the base unit on first, then the monitor, and finally the printer, and turn them off in reverse order. Right. Base unit. Monitor. Printer. Yes! Yes. Now the moment when time stands still. What do you mean? I'd switch the clock off if I were you. What for? Well, it can take less than ten minutes to set up the PC and get it going. But it, the PC itself needs some extra time to get going. I mean, it can take up to thirty minutes for Windows to set itself up for the first time. After that, it's instant. Yeah, it's like the PC is loading up its brain. we just got to sit here and wait. Yeah. Well, that sounds suspiciously like watching paint dry. So I'm going to get a cup of tea. Why? Two sugars, please. A cup of tea. In the meantime, let's see how the others are getting on. I think there's an order to it. There's an order. That's it. Put that in the middle. What's this to... bit here? Yes. Put that in the front. Come Hold on, let's put it in the right. That's the wrong one, then. Yeah, I'm in. You done it? Bottom of the speaker. Got it. There we are. It's, you just had it upside down, that's all. Hey! I think it's nearly there. Ah, oh, another hot tip first. Never drink tea anywhere near your keyboard. Yeah, I knew that. 
Now, with less than five minutes to go, I'm now going to register and then start using my PC. All PCs have got this software, Windows 95, but if you buy a Packard Bell, you get Navigator software as well. Uh, we'll be finding out about Navigator later. The software is what makes every PC do what you want it to, like uh, writing a letter or doing accounts or um, learning a language. A PC without software is like a hi-fi without CDs. Or tea without sugar. Or a neighbour without a personality. Right! I'm ready to rock and roll. Ah, oh, this is easy. Yeah, I know what these little pictures are. Yeah, or icons, as we call them in the trade. Yeah, each one represents a different piece of software. Yeah. As I move the mouse, the arrow goes wherever I go. And when I get to what I want to do, I just click on the left button. Now, I want to write a letter and find out who invented the computer. You've got three and a half minutes left. I want to write a letter, so I have to click on... Starting a program. Dear Steve, please can I have my life back? Sincerely, Jim. Uh, I don't understand. Never mind. Stage one completed. One and a half minutes to go. Now, who invented the granddaddy of this thing? I could tell you that. Uh, there was no need. Got the encyclopedia, came through with my kit. Where did I put that CD wrong? Aha! Gotcha. I mean, even if you're in the middle of something else, when you're using Windows, all you need to do is go down to the Start button. But remember to put the CD-ROM in first, otherwise you might get the message that the CD isn't there. Mission nearly accomplished. 30 seconds left. Mission about to be completed. Eureka! Charles Babbage invented the computer. I could have told you that all along. Well, there you are. I said I'd do it, and I have. Now it's your turn. And when you're up and running, why not treat yourself to a cup of tea? Or maybe something stronger. And don't forget, if you have any problems, you can always call PC Plus, the PC Helpline, on 0891 516 516. Right, I'm off now to find out some more exciting information about software and surfing the internet. I'll see you in a minute. I'd better come along as well. No, you stay here. No, I want to come. No, the cat needs to be here. I don't like cats. They bring me out in shingles. You're not even meant to be with me. I'm doing this well, on my own. It's a beautiful day, you know. I mean, I thought I'd just might tag along anyway. Just leave it to me. I am the professional. Yeah, okay. You know? Well, I'm... there's a bus coming. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. It's very childish. Don't do that. Oh, look at that, Mum. Oh, yeah. Ah, brilliant. So you've got it up and running. Uh, any problems? No, not really. I just had a little problem. I got the lead for the keyboard in the wrong socket, but we've sorted it out now. Ah, uh, this, this is Navigator. Yeah, I told you all about that. Ignore him. He's on very strong medication. You see, there are four main rooms in the house, and each one gets you into something different, like the games or word processing area. And the living room gives you access to all the other rooms in the house. And the info guide, well, that tells you what each thing does. Oh, brilliant. I uh, like the little pictures. <clears throat> uh, uh, you're, you're learning how to use a mouse, yeah? Yeah, it's a really funny mouse. Yes, we got the novelty mouse and we bought the computer. And mm. um, what's that you've got there? It's a racing game. Grand Prix 2. Oh, well, let's have a look at it, see how it goes. Oh, yeah. Bags Eye Michael Schumacher. Get a life. Well, it's just like the real thing. I mean, the hairpin bent. <clears throat> I spun off last time. Oh, oh, oh what? dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, fortunately, we've got an expert with us who can help us sort out this problem. Steve, hmm? what do you think's gone wrong, you being an expert? Hmm? Well, I mean, there could be lots of different reasons. Uh, uh, it could be a, a disk cache error on the motherboard, or the SCSI port's not synchronised with the zip drive, or 
You haven't got a clue, have you? No. Thank you. Fortunately, the real experts are just a phone call away. The people at PC Plus can help you with virtually any problem that you have with your computer. And that does mean anything. Good morning, PC Plus. If the power Steve doesn't come on, if nothing comes up on the screen, if the printer starts printing gobbledygook, and they're there 24 hours a day. You click on the right hand button on the mouse. Well, that seemed painless. Yeah, they were really helpful on the phone. So can you use any software on our computer? Well, a little knowledge is a dangerous thing. But I do know that all computer software carries a label that tells you what memory and PC is needed to make it work. And if you're in any doubt, just ask the sales staff. Isn't that right, Steve? Yeah. Uh, there are hundreds of different kinds of software that mean you can do amazing things. Uh, you, can, uh, you can do accounts, you know, all that office -y stuff. You can destroy alien spacecraft. You can learn to spell or, or, or read. You can destroy alien spacecraft. And you can do a hundred different things if you want. But the most important thing, of course, the thing I've learned over the years, destroy the alien spacecraft. That's the most important thing. I know where they are, you know. They've landed. They're among us. They're here already. Destroy them before it's too late. Just up here. Yeah, right. Uh, we go that, go that way. way. Should we go that way? Why do we go that way? I want to go this way. I think it's that way. Well, I've been that way. I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Do you know where we're going? I think it's that way. Yeah, but it's that way. That's the way I want to go. Well, you seem okay. You've got it all set up all right, then. Yeah, he's surfing the net. Hey, I never knew that about Eric Cantona. Oh, yeah. Common knowledge. So how do you get on the internet? How do you find out about all this? There's an icon marked World Wide Web and that takes you through the whole process. Yeah, it costs money though, doesn't it? Yes, I mean, you pay a fixed sum to the internet service for each month and then you pay extra as more time is used. See, but then after that, the world's your oyster. Ah. So the service fee's the only charge? Well, no, you pay for the phone call you're making and that can mount up even though it's charged at local rate. That can mount up? Mm. It seems worth it, though. Oh, yeah. The Intel page is great. It's got all the latest news about PCs, and you can play games like Monopoly with other people. Oh. Can you play Kaplunk? No. But you can go shopping in LA, you can buy wine, you can send flowers by PC. You know, that's very handy for someone like you, who doesn't like moving much. Oh, yeah, it's great. Oh, thanks very much, Andy, for your hospitality. You've been a charming host. Uh, so, if I got on the internet, I could have conversations with you without actually having to see you face to face? Yeah. That sounds brilliant. OK, see you, Alan. All right, cheers, John. John? Yeah, yeah, we'll leave it. That's the steepest learning curve I've ever been on. Yeah, well, that's just a start. I mean, in the future, you might want to upgrade your system. Like add on some office equipment, like a scanner or a fax modem or even a digital camera. Yeah, you know, get a faster processor and increase the sims on my RAM, because if I don't figure out the ring modulation unit on my ROM system, it's megabyte city. Yeah, OK. Four seasons with extra pineapple. Yeah. Oh. See, the thing about... Learning how to use a computer is it's a gradual process. The more you use it, the more confident you'll become. So your phone call to PC Plus today could be, oh, where do I put my mouse? But in a year's time, your phone call could be, where do I plug in my virtual reality helmet? Whatever happens, enjoy yourself. What computer you got, anyway? Huh? What computer you got? Oh, I haven't got a computer. What do you mean you haven't got a computer? I haven't got a computer. Well, how come you know so much about it? Well, I just read the magazine. Oh, you anorak. Why don't you get a computer? I can't afford one. I thought I might pop round and borrow yours. No, you will think again, didn't we, Tintin? You're not coming through that door again. Right, that's it. Cue credits. No, not quite, actually. Why? I've got my PC up and running. Yes, but the lovely viewers haven't. Yeah, but they've got the set-up instructions, on-screen prompts and manuals. What more do they need? Yes, but not everyone reads the manuals. Surely not. So, here are a few extra things worth knowing.
It's really important that when you first use Windows 95, you follow the prompt to make a backup. But I've already got the recovery CD that came with my computer. Yeah, but you also need a copy of your own PC setup. It'll only take a minute, and it means that if your computer fails, you'll have everything you need when you call PC+. Plus. All printers need their own printer driver. It's a little computer file which lets the printer talk to the computer. I know that. I chose mine from the options within Windows 95. Yeah, and so will most people. But if it's not there, you can use the disk that comes with the printer. Or phone PC Plus? Yeah. Yeah, I already know that you have to make sure your PC has enough memory for games. Yeah, but some games need that memory to be organised in a particular way. Right, so if you bought a game and it didn't work, that's probably what's wrong then? Yeah. So how did you fix that? Your friends at PC Plus Helpline, of course.